this, that, and she giving me that. Look at the book as it begins. Young nigga got diamonds on his neck, yeah. Bad, 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 bitch, bad, bitch. Bad, 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 bitch, bad, bitch, bad, bitch. She giving me that. Look at the book as it begins. So yeah, honestly, I got this car a few days ago. Well, not a few days ago, a few weeks ago type. And I never really did a video or anything on it. But yeah, super dope. Uh, 2006 Infiniti G35, six-speed manual, obviously. Uh, with the rev up, 19-inch socks, VLSD. It's not bad. It just has a little, little one-two rustized, crustized in the arches. As to be expected, Canada car life. Don't mind a little bougie censorship here. Oh, it's gonna expose anyways. Oh, come on, wind. Come on, do it. Expose me. Come on. All right, it's not gonna do that. Anyways, 2006 G35, pretty dope. Um, the initial f fixes were the um, tire pressure monitor sensors were like kept going off and check engine light was on, some vibrations. So whatever, whatever. Did my little magic touches to it. Now we're mint. Fixed it for like less than 100 bucks type. I got changed the two rears for like 120. Yeah, don't ask me how I did that, but sick. 2017 DOT. Um, what else? Did the bank two intake cams timing sensor and dealt with the TMPSs. So after that, it's been pretty mint. Like, fuck. It's got a, a little intake. I don't know if I'm exposed to y'all. Good. Right. Yeah. Is that a tome dog? Okay, I'm just gonna expose. Don't mind my little rusty cussy. So realistically it was fine here. It's just like kinda like shitty under. It's like someone I don't know whatever. So basically I just patched the little holes, just put a bunch of fiberglass resin under there. And we're good to go. Anyways, let me show y'all things what's going on here. Oh my Jesus word. So this is the interior. Pretty clean, pretty dope. Except for this, which is apparently a very common problem on these G's. Fucking bolsters chew up. I would assume just because of the way this metal thing is here and then it puts pressure on there and just like rips it out and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's pretty dope. It's fall in Canada, so yeah. It's pretty clean for how much I got it for, which I'm not gonna expose yet. Type intake, type intake install type. Yeah. Type. A <laughs> big ass, yeah. So yeah, it's got this little racer intake. Pretty dope. It's, apparently it's not right there. It's like 500 bucks. Sounds really dope. And, impressingly enough, does not burn oil for a rev up. Um, previous owner said he never really needs to fill oil. And, like, I kind of believe it because, fuck, they're known for toast and oil. But very, and um, what was very interesting is when I bought it or whatever, the rev limiter was set to, like, 4,000. So it's like, you know, the guy lived in the city it's not really much space to bang it around, so it makes sense, I guess. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. But, <laughs> oh, wow, advanced front midship. It actually advertises it. But yeah, as you guys can see, maybe not, the motor sits right almost behind the, the fucking the towers right here. See? See? Not quite like my E36 with the four banger, but still pretty good. Still pretty damn good. Turning's all right. It's definitely not a BMW, but it's a, it's a good daily for <laughs> Japanese gang. <laughs> so try my hand to win these fuckers. I know you you ricer boys love these things. So maybe we'll do put some wheels, maybe some suspension. I already got an intake. Satisfied with the exhaust and just daily spec it. So stay tuned for more G videos, bitch. Bow.
like the first time I had the, the Geo in the nighttime type with super dope. Mm. I just painted this today. Uh, probably gonna clear coat it tomorrow. That's all the fucking <laughs> things on here. It's so much cleaner. And, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these wheels. They're all right. Cool. That was stock. But pretty sure that one's bad. Yeah, so we're gonna just have to see what we got to do about that. I'm off to the So yeah, see what we we'll do about that. <clears throat> to be honest, this is just supposed to be like a daily replacement for my E36. I'm not trying to get into it too much, but pff, this motherfucker looks dope. So <laughs> who knows? Maybe I'll put a little bit of sauce on it. Just a little, just a tad bit. You guys know me. Uh, suspension and tires is my shit. But I don't know if I'm trying to drop all that. Because this thing basically wears the same setup as my E46 and <laughs> see how that goes. Yeah man, 06, 6 speed, no grinds. <laughs> Remarkably doesn't burn oil. Like I've been checking, been pulling up to 7k, all that. You know, you smell maybe you smell like a little bit. Type V Tech thing, or maybe not. Maybe it's just the exhaust. <laughs> but on guard, I've been monitoring it, and it doesn't burn oil, as far as I can see. So, we're still gonna check it. Obviously, these cars are notorious for that shit. So, we're still gonna look into that shit. <laughs> um, I'm thinking every other fill up. Uh, the only thing I don't like, when I bought it. It came with these smoke tails. I mean, they're all right, but I kind of like the red. It stands out. It makes it look super dope. What was super interesting is um, when I got it, the check engine light was on for code. Don't quote me now. 1708, something like that. Anyways, it was a bank two or bank one. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I fucking know. I think it's bank one. In, uh, intake cam sensor. And so this exhaust, interestingly, so this bank, whatever this bank is, interestingly enough, this exhaust, like you can see, like the, the timing was off because it was like some weird, like discoloration. <clears throat> like it wasn't the same as that, right? It was like kind of like brown, like dry. It's like probably, you know, the timing's off. So the fuel was probably igniting early, probably lean or something. I don't know, but pretty much. It's like it evened out once I changed the sensor, give it a couple drives, whatever, whatever. So that's interesting. Don't mind this body work, dude. Canada, Rusk War. Fix that area, can't even tell. That area, kind of more like a test stars. Got a wet sanded back. Probably spray it again a little bit. Clear coat. It began getting. Yeah, just about to finish tonight. Just took her out for a little cruise. Test it out, it's all quiet, it doesn't burn oil, it's good. <laughs> the only thing, maybe like it's under braked, for sure. <laughs> like there's plenty of padded rotor, but it does not feel like a BMW. <laughs> so. Yeah, super dope. Damn, what the fuck is that smell? Off the pack, I told that little bitch I got no time, just relax. I'm off that perky, I need this shit just for my back. I'm sitting in the Cadillac, I'm smoking on Thrax Got your bitch beside me Riding through the city in that boring big body 
some on the shit and I know I'm in the party. Big startup gang. That nigga be riding through the city of that Molly. Dopest rapper sell me, then he holding on the Tommy. Holding on the AK, told that Lopez put that shit away. Just like TK, that nigga going away. 599, goddamn, that nigga ain't coming out. I'm putting it in him out. Young nigga come from Toronto, nigga know that that's from the south. South of Ontario, nigga know I'm a Cheerio. Going in a circle, put a hoes in you, niggas know I'm Furio. That's so furious, niggas fast. Dumping on the clutch, you know my whip it is too fast. Push up on the clutch and then I push up on the gas. Yo bitch love me, yeah she wanna give me all that ass Give me all that ass Give me all that ass